ВК Вагнер называется. Война тяжелая. This was one of the first sights we had of Russian prisoners being recruited to fight in Ukraine. The late Yevgeny Prigozhin, founder of the Wagner Mercenary Group, and himself a former convict, giving these prisoners a choice. Join up, fight in Ukraine, and if you survive for six months, you'll be pardoned and go home. It was actually a better deal than many of the regular Russian soldiers got, and of course there were plenty of takers. Russia has 400,000 prison inmates, one of the highest incarceration rates in the world. The Ukrainian authorities say Wagner recruited more than 38,000 convicts, many of whom found themselves in these Storm V penal units. These were thrown into battles like Bakhmut, with very little training, uh, the meat in the so-called meat grinder. And the Ukrainians say more than 70% of them were killed. But some did return home and some of them went on to re-offend and even commit some pretty grisly murders. Now, up to now, Ukraine has managed to recruit through a mix of conscription and by men and women just volunteering to fight. But with a population three and a half times smaller than Russia, it's struggling. Vladimir Zelensky has lowered the draft age from 27 to 25. And he said in December that he planned to recruit an additional half a million Ukrainians into the armed forces. Meanwhile, Moscow claims 1,500 recruits are signing up every day. So now it seems Kyiv is taking a page out of the Russian playbook and turning to its prisoner population. There are now reports that a new mobilisation bill passed last month means more than 3,000 prisoners have been released on parole and assigned to military units, what they're calling volunteer assault battalions. The Ukrainian Justice Ministry says 27,000 prisoners are eligible for this scheme. Now, unlike in Russia, prisoners convicted of sex offences, multiple murders or crimes against national security aren't eligible. And the Ukrainians say there's no meat grinder for these men. They'll be integrated into regular frontline units. So what did Ukrainian convicts get from this? Well, apart from parole, they say it's the chance to return home a hero, not just an ex-prisoner. And they'll be hoping the Ukrainian authorities are better at keeping their word than the Russians because their prisoners found out they don't actually get a pardon at all. And instead of going home early, they now have to fight and survive until the end of the war. Now, this scheme isn't going to solve Ukraine's bigger recruitment problem. The Justice Ministry says it'll probably amount to around 5,000 prisoner recruits in total. But these are still criminals. So what about the Ukrainian soldiers that come here to be trained in the UK on Op Interflex. What safeguards will there be about the backgrounds of those soldiers? Well, we asked the MOD that question, and it told us that the British Army isn't responsible for security vetting. The Ukrainian government and the Ukrainian military look at their backgrounds before they join a course here. And training is delivered in the UK under what they say is their trusted assurance. However, defence sources tell me that no one released on parole under this scheme in Ukraine will come to the UK to train. Thanks for watching. For more from Forces News, like and subscribe to our channel.